And now, the heartbeat from the Jack Stevens Heart Institute at St. Vincent. Many people get confused when it comes to distinguishing between defibrillators and pacemakers. Although both of the devices help correct heart irregularities, there are quite a few differences between the two. Here's KARK's Jancy Sheets with today's heartbeat. Are you having any trouble with... The heart of the average adult beats 60 to 100 times a minute. Unsignificant for most, unless you're a heart patient like Avery Hervey. So his story is that back in 2002, he was having episodes where he was passing out or coming close to passing out. And he had an EKG recorded during one of these episodes, and the EKG suggested a dangerous heart rhythm. On doctor's recommendations, Hervey received an implantable cardioverter defibrillator, or ICD, to regulate his heart. Today, he's here at St. Vincent Heart Clinic for his regular checkup on the device, also known as an interrogation. We, we learn whether or not there is any problem with either the lead wires that connect what we call the pulse generator, which is where the battery is, whether there are any lead, any problems with the lead wires that connect the pulse generator to the heart. And we also see how the patient's doing in terms of their heart rhythm. He's not had any problems. He has gotten at least one shock from his defibrillator. So uh, he and, and many other uh, patients in our device clinic we feel are alive today uh, related to the fact that they have the defibrillator. The St. Vincent Heart Clinic follows 6,000 patients with implantable devices. Like a pacemaker, a defibrillator maintains the correct heart rate by regulating heartbeats through electrical impulses. But unlike a pacemaker, when it detects the heartbeats are too fast, it shocks the heart back into a regular rhythm. Some people like to say that it's like having an emergency room in your chest. The defibrillator is larger in size than a pacemaker and costs about five times as much. They're also highly regulated in terms of who can receive them. Patients need to be at high risk of needing the shock capability of the defibrillator in order to qualify to have a defibrillator. The most common problem with ICDs is that they can sometimes give electrical pulses that aren't needed. Doctors can reprogram them or prescribe medicine so it occurs less often. That's why it's a good idea to have your device regularly checked by your cardiologist. For today's St. Vincent Heartbeat, I'm Jancy Sheets. Jancy, thank you. ICD batteries have to be replaced every five to seven years. And the wires of your ICD may eventually have to be replaced.